Now, one rule that concerns port forwarding is you can only use a port to forward traffic to one computer at a time. So if you have a web service running on all your computers, you're going to have to use another port on those computers to use port forwarding. Now, a lot of web servers will give you the option to change your default port address. Another thing to be aware of is that since IP addresses tend to change from time to time, you're going to want to configure whatever device you're trying to forward traffic to with either a fixed IP address or a DHCP reservation. Another caveat you need to understand about port forwarding is when you have a computer on the internet, using a port forwarding rule on your router to access a computer on port 80, that computer is not the only computer that it can access your computer on port 80. Any computer in the entire world who knows your IP address and tacks on a port 80 can access that web server. Luckily, since we can only use one port number to access one IP address at a time, that's all they get. Even so, you want to be very particular as to which computer you provide the entire world access to. Since game consoles are not really what you would call hackable, telling your router to open up ports to a game console is not really a major security concern.